Hi, this video is about spaced repetition, a technique that will help you to be successful in exams and remember things better, and also about how CIS 150, Introduction to Computing, uses this method. CIS 150 is a class that is meant to help you explore technology, discover its depth, and then learn specific skills in Excel, Microsoft Access, and Microsoft Word that will help you to be successful in office life. So spaced repetition is meant to help us remember things for longer periods of time. It is common for students to cram for exams and uh, try to remember as many things as possible in a short period of time. Let me demonstrate how this works with this graph. Our y-axis is going to be something we try to remember. So we'll try to memorize something. And then the x-axis will be time, how long it takes us to forget it. The pink line happens to be the curve of forgetting. Now forgetting is very important to the learning process. Forgetting helps us to clarify, but also to filter things so that our learning is uh, fulfilling the objectives. So if you cram for an exam, you might remember quite a few things initially, of course if you have enough sleep and you can recall them, but then you're going to dramatically forget them moving forward. So space repetition helps here, and it's a technique where within specific inter intervals we repeat things. So let's put some time on our time axis. We have uh, perhaps seven days here, 14, and then 21. So the idea here is that after reviewing the material initially, if you repeat this review, you're going to bring your retention back. However, not only do you gain the time of how long you'll be able to remember by seven days, but please notice the angle of these curves as they change. In some medical studies, it was found that students are able to remember things eight years into their practice because of this space repetition. The other promise is that, of course, not only do you remember for the exam, but the total time that you have studied for the exam to get a really good grade is less than if you were to cram once um, on, on, for all the information. How are we using this in CIS 150? Well, we start with 0, 1 where you learn a new skill. We would use a simulation of, say, Microsoft Access Database to show you something new. This simulation then, a week later, is going to be benefiting you because you're going to be doing a project, which is a review of this particular skill. Then later, before the exam, we would reopen simulations, which are these practices, to help you refresh your memory. And then we would have the exam where you repeat them again. The same way the concepts part of the class would take place. So in the, in the part of the class where we would go into the depth of technology, but also help you find the joy of computing, which uh, of course is present in technology, we would have you read on your own in the textbook and take a quiz at the same time. So right after reading a chapter on concepts, you repeat that by taking a quiz. And then a few days later, you would experience a review during lectures, uh, which are instructor-led and uh, they, they help you to make your way through the material. And then we would have another review later before the midterm or the final exam. It would help you again to recall and to space the repetition and then finally during the exam, you also are recalling the information. So this technique of spaced repetition, again, is meant to have you remember things for a long period of time so that later when you are in an internship, you come to an IT meeting and uh, things are discussed uh, like cloud computing or Internet of Things, and you are able to recall that these topics were discussed in class. This technique can be also used in other classes, and we would encourage you to look at application called Anki. This happens to be software that uh, applies this spaced repetition principle to flashcards. So you have to memorize many things. You can use Anki to have the cards being marked as difficult. Uh, some cards will be 
uh, presented to you multiple times, but it is spaced, and therefore our brain responds to that. It so happens that uh, when the brain has to work harder to learn something, it is going to remember it for a longer period of time. And that is the goal of spaced repetition, in that you have to recall something you have already uh, learned, and this helps you to uh, mitigate what the curve of forgetting does. Thank you.